Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson in the Cypress Automation Playlist. Today we are going to look at how we can set up Cypress on our Windows machine. So there are basically four steps uh, what we need to perform. And it starts up uh, with setting up a ID, which is nothing but the integrated development environment where you will be building your project and you will be writing your tests. So we are going to use the Visual Studio code. So we'll see how we can set up the Visual Studio code first. Then uh, Cypress requires Node.js. So we are going to install uh, the Node.js on Windows. And then uh, we are going to set up a demo application which has been provided by Cypress so that uh, we can test uh, and we can see all the features of Cypress using this demo application. And finally, uh, we are going to install and set up Cypress and then we are going to see how we can write our first Cypress script. So let's get started with this setup and we are going to first set up Visual Studio Code. Now we are going to look at how we can set up Visual Studio Code on our Windows machine. So the first step is to download the Visual Studio Code installer. So go to any particular browser and type Visual Studio Code. And then here you will find the download option in the code.visualstudio.com website. Then go to the downloads page and there you can install or download for any particular operating system for me i'll be doing it for windows so i'll click here and then um, it is going to save it in the downloads folder so i'm going to save this once it is done i'm going to open this setup and then it will ask me to accept this so i will do that click on next I will choose the default folder and the default start menu folder. And then I'm going to leave this as it is and then click on next and click on install. Now uh, it will prepare the installer for Visual Studio Code and it will start extracting and installing Visual Studio Code on your machine. Okay, so once this is done, click on finish and then it should launch the Visual Studio Code. So this is the Visual Studio Code tool as you can see here. So that's how you can set up a Visual Studio Code on your Windows machine. Now the next step is to install the Node.js on our Windows machine. So let's go ahead and search for this Node.js download. And here you will find the download option in node.js.org and there you will find the installers for all the different uh, operating systems. So we are going to choose the Windows installer. And that will basically download this uh, installer into my downloads folder. And once it is completed downloading, then I'm going to launch the installer. Okay, so now uh, we are going to launch the installer right from here and uh, it will open the node.js setup. So just follow the prompts here and we are going to install the node.js on our machine and click on install to start the installation and once the installation is complete then click on finish and now uh, we are going to just verify whether Node.js is properly installed and that we can do by going to command prompt and here we will type node and then v which will give us the node version which is version 20.7. So this is how you can install Node.js and verify whether it is installed on your machine correctly or not. The next step is to install the application uh, on which we are going to write our tests against. Now this is a demo application which has been built by Cypress which you can use for learning Cypress or for practicing Cypress on this particular application. So we need to uh, download this particular code and open it 
in a Visual Studio Code, right? So uh, this is uh, hosted on GitHub. So this is the repository URL. And here uh, we need to go onto the start branch, which is currently selected. Okay, if it is not selected, you need to select the start branch. And then uh, go to the code option. There you will find an option to download the zip file. Okay, so download the zip file. And then um, save it at some place. Okay. So I'm going to save it in C drive. So let me create a new folder here. And I'm going to call it Cypress. Okay, and then inside this, I am going to save this. And once uh, it is saved, then we are going to open that folder. Okay, and then we are going to extract this zip file so that we get all the contents of this particular folder and now uh, we just need to open this folder uh, in the visual studio code so let's go back to visual studio code and here you will find in the explorer you have got a open folder option or even in the start or welcome screen you will find there are different options like new file open file and open folder right so you need to select the open folder option and then you need to select the folder which you have saved which is the actual application code okay so let's go to c drive and here we will go to that particular folder now so this was cypress and then we will just select that parent folder which contains all the code okay so select that folder and now uh, that complete project will open here uh, you may get this uh, message asking you to trust the authors so click on yes and now you will see uh, the complete uh, application with all the code inside this okay now the next thing which we need to do is to start this particular application on our local host so that we can access this application from our local system okay so to do that uh, you need to go to the terminal here and click on new terminal so we are going to start a new terminal in the visual studio code and now here we are going to type some commands so we'll start off uh, by verifying the node version here so let's type node v and you can see it is the same version it is important that um, you are using the same version in visual studio code and uh, your installed version right after that uh, we are going to write npm install this is going to install the latest uh, dependencies for this particular project okay so all the dependencies will be downloaded using this particular command Now, once uh, all the dependencies are downloaded, now uh, we can start the application on the local host. So we are going to type npm run and then dev, okay? And then click enter. And that will basically start the server on your local host. And the, the address is localhost 3000. So uh, now we are going to open localhost 3000 here, okay? So we'll type local host and then 3000 now you should see uh, this demo application which have been built okay so it is basically an application where you can subscribe to different courses um, and you can go through each course and complete that okay so there are basically three courses so this is the first course you can see here you can get started here and then this is the second course this is the third course and here you can uh, subscribe as well okay so this is the workflow of this particular application and this is what you need to uh, test using cypress now the final step in this setup is to install cypress and get it started so let's go back to our visual studio code and here what we are going to do is we are going to open a new terminal because in this particular terminal um, our client or our application is running right 
So we are going to open a new terminal here and then we are going to type this command npm install cypress save dev. Okay, so this is going to install cypress on your machine. And once that is completed, now we can open cypress. And for that, we need to type a command called npx. Okay. And then we are going to type Cypress and then open. Okay, so this is going to launch uh, the Cypress uh, automation tool on your system. So it is a local application uh, and here you will find two options, end-to-end uh, -end testing and component testing. Okay, so you need to click on end-to-end -end testing. This is what we are going to do. And after you click on end-to-end -end testing, it will show you the configuration files. Okay, so it will tell you that it has added the following files to the project. So the Cypress config uh, TypeScript file, then the support end-to-end uh, -end TypeScript file, and the commands and an example as well. Okay, uh, click on continue, and then it will take you to the next screen where it will ask you to choose a browser. So which browser you will be using for this end-to-end -end testing? You can choose uh, any browser which is installed on your machine. I'm going to choose Chrome and click on start end-to-end -end testing in Chrome. So it is going to launch now the Cypress in the Chrome browser, okay? And here you can create your first spec file and you can also monitor all your automation runs here itself. So it is going to rerun um, whatever tests you are writing in your Visual Studio code. It is going to uh, rerun them here and show you the results as well. You can also uh, debug your tests right from here and you can also change the settings. Okay, so these are uh, the different options which are available uh, in the Cypress once you uh, launch it and you open end-to-end -end testing. So this completes the whole setup. Uh, as you saw, uh, there are a couple of steps which you need to follow in order to uh, set up Cypress. And once it is set up, then you can start writing your tests right in your Visual Studio code by creating um, another file and then start writing your scripts uh, in JavaScript.